Hi everybody, my name is Will, and I thought I would make a video about how my dysphoria has changed since I had my hysterectomy. So this past May, I had a hysterectomy with a bilateral salpingo oophorectomy, which means that my uterus, ovaries, and fallopian tubes were all removed. I chose to have this surgery for a few reasons. Reason one is that I had endometriosis, which means that I had a lot of pain and issues with those parts of my body. Reason number two is I had a lot of dysphoria over having those parts of my body. And reason three is I want lower surgery one day, so I figure getting this step out of the way now, you know, no harm in that. So my dysphoria has changed uh, quite a bit, I think, since I had the surgery. Um, so I no longer have this fear that I'm going to bleed. Um, Sometimes I used to like be going to the washroom or something and I would just start to be like, oh my god, like what if there's blood there? It was just this almost constant concern of mine. And because of my endometriosis, I often had um, cramping, which reminded me that it was a possibility that it could happen. So that is gone, which is amazing. Uh, the second one of the things that's gone is that I no longer have this fear of getting pregnant. Even though I have never been at risk of pregnancy in my life, I still used to have like nightmares, like while I was asleep, literal nightmares of getting pregnant. And I have not had one of those since my hysterectomy, which is great, because that was terrible. I would wake up and I would feel sick to my stomach. I know that some trans guys are okay with getting pregnant. I'm just not one of them. It's always terrified me. I've had these dreams since I was probably 12 or 13. And I've had them maybe every few months for those, you know, I'm 20 now, how many years? And they made me feel sick and scared and worried all the time. And now I no longer have to worry that that will happen. Um, the other dysphoria change that I've experienced has actually been an increased chest dysphoria because there's nothing else for me to really focus on. Um, I know that lower surgery will happen in the future, and I have a lot of lower dysphoria, but right now it's not my main focus because I know that it's so far in the future. I don't really allow myself to dwell on it too much. Um, I've had a lot of changes from tea, obviously. My voice is deep, um, more muscular, my facial structure has changed. I have facial hair, I have body hair, all of that good stuff. So. Now it's just waiting for my chest surgery, and it's so hard to keep waiting. I feel um, extremely dysphoric. I mean, I've always felt dysphoric over my chest, but it's amped up for sure because it's the next step, and I always feel really impatient waiting for the next step. You know, when the next step was testosterone, I was very impatient after I got testosterone. The next step was a hysterectomy. I got I was very impatient. Now I'm feeling quite impatient waiting for a chest surgery. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I really have to say. Um, if you have any questions for me, I'd be more than happy to answer them, and I hope you enjoyed my video. I don't make videos on this channel very often, but I do make videos on the Translate Profit every week, every Monday, so you can check me out there as well, and check out the other videos for the Translate Profit. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, you can either comment below or send me a message on Tumblr, journeyintomanhood.tumblr.com. Thank you. Bye.